Beep, beep. Hello, and welcome to the Introduction for Podcast But Outside, episode 197. Thanks, Andrew. Yeah, thanks, Cole. We recorded this at the DMV. We went back. We haven't been to the DMV for the podcast since 2020, or 2019. Yeah. I, I go once a week for my own stuff, because yeah. I, I love it there. But for the show, we haven't been there in a while. Now that our license are unsuspended, we went back. It's a great episode. Awesome guests. The people at the DMV allowed us to be there, surprisingly. It was really, really, really fun. It was hot. It was a little hot, like sexy, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was kind of a sexy time at the DMV. Music this week is by... Beep, beep. Oh, right. Pepe. We used this song in 2020, and it's great, and it rocks, and we're going to use it again. And you can find them on Instagram at spending time with another E at the end. Okay, that's a good way to do it. And um, we have our live show. The next one on the 28th in LA, March 28th, is sold out. No tickets available. Told you about that. The next one is May 7th. That's for the Netflix is a Joke Festival. That's a very special show for us. Please come out. Tickets are slightly more expensive than we usually charge, like $25, because that's just the minimum they would do it for that festival. We're going to have a very, very special guest. As soon as we announce that guest, it will be sold out. So go buy a ticket now. It's a small venue. Every show we do do there sells out. Sells out. Sells out. Sells out. Podcastbedside.com slash live. We could use some new theme songs. Yes. Now that we're back. We do need new theme songs. If you're a musician, make us a theme song. Keep it under 40 seconds and have the name Podcast But Outside somewhere in there. Okay, let's get back to the episode starting now. Tell your friends about the show. Rate and review us on Apple Podcasts. All that stuff helps a lot. And we have special bonus content on Patreon. So many fun stuff over there. So many. So many of them. All right, bye-bye. Yeah. Podcast, but outside. outside. This is the world's first podcast. My name is Andrew Michon. My name is Crash Hirsch. If you've never heard or watched our show before, the whole point of our show is for me and Crash to set up this table and these chairs on the sidewalk at different locations in Los Angeles and beyond and interview random strangers who happen to be walking by. We have a sign on our table that says, Hi, be a guest in our podcast. We will pay you one dollar. Smiley, Smiley face. face. We're the only ethical podcast, the only podcast that pays its guests. And the, and only, the only podcast... podcast what were you going to say? Oh, I was just going to say whatever you were going to say. Oh. The only podcast, podcast that's, that's here at the DMV. The, the DMV. The DMV. The DMV. <laughs> you say DMV? Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> I say DMV. I don't call you A-N-D-R-E-W. I, I've asked you to. I don't. We're at the DMV, and we've been here once before in 2019. It's been years and years. It's one of our f- favorite episodes from back in the day. Hi, yeah. how are you? It's, it's also one nice of the f- like one of the first places we got kicked nice out of. You. Yeah, we set up here, and then they made us move way over there. But then a security guy came up to us and said, "What are you guys doing? A talk show?" We're like, "Yeah." He's like, "Awesome." <laughs> I'm like, "Is that okay?" He's like, "Yeah, sure." I'm like, "All right." And then they gave him a sticker. But then I saw his elder boss, yes. I guess is yeah. the work term for it. Yep. Um, talk to him, and it looked like maybe it wasn't okay. But, but, but he, then it, he was like, I'm just going to sit here and watch you guys. I'm like, okay. Yeah. I think at the end of the day, we are on city property. But to be honest, I would imagine the DMV is also city property. That's true. <laughs> I would imagine they're both owned by the same company, which is called Glendale. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I was thinking the other day? Yeah. And I'm sure there's an answer that I could look at online, but I'd rather not actually know. Who do you think owns the airport? Mm. Like, is that a business? Probably the, the, or the city. The city. Right? Or the government. Someone's got to own the airport. I mean, it's a lot of land. A lot of money, a lot of that's infrastructure. Got a, that's, off, that's government. You think so? Oh, I think yeah. every airport is owned by local government. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then private airports are maybe owned by private inter- individuals. Who owns the airports? <laughs> Hi. Hi. The DMV, I think, is a really cool thing because it's like a, um, it's like a, it's an equalizer. Everyone's yeah, got to yeah. go to the DMV. Everyone, I even celebrity. Even if you're a celebrity, I would imagine you still have to sometimes go to the DMV. Look right? at this flock. This is a huge flock right look, over look here. Just flock. look at the whole like. Yeah, it's, it's, it's all of humanity all at once. Yeah. That baby's going to get his learner's permit. Wow. All right. Don't film him. You can sit down. Hey, what's up, man? Hey. You want, yeah, yeah, you want to yeah, talk yeah. to us? You want to make a dollar? Let's do for, no, we'll give you a dollar. We have to. We, we, we have we're, to. we're men of our word. Have a seat. Yeah, yeah. Are you with her? Are you guys going to the DMV? Do you want to sit down, too? You don't have, you're welcome to if you'd like, but 
Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's room. We made room. Oh, shit. It's a narrow. Oh, you don't want you want to be kind of alone. <laughs> Are you guys together? No. No. Do you know each other? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Here you go. This is my side chick. Your side <laughs> chick. So no, I had to clarify. No. Like, no. You don't want to do that. Okay. All right. No oh, headphones. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, do oh, headphones. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Do headphones. It'll be great. Wait, what are you guys' names? Stay. Stay. Day. Day. Okay. Like daytime. Daytime. All right. What's what, your about, name? what about you? I'm Chef Boy Bones. Chef, Chef Boy Bones. Bones. I was going to guess that. <laughs> I yeah. was going to guess that. So you guys are done at the DMV. Yeah, we're done. What'd you get done? I got a renewal of my license. Hell Whoa. yeah, man. You trying to drive Was longer. it expired? No, I lost that shit. Oh, <laughs> really? Did I cuss on the podcast? Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. a free podcast? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> fuck yeah. Yeah, I lost that shit. <laughs> Why? How? I'm fucking a stoner. Stoner. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Stoner activities. And yeah. were you just supporting him? You just supporting your guy? Your man? No. Your friend? My ID was stolen. So. Wait, Wait, she likes that. See, he, he went from man to friend. Yeah, <laughs> like that. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, no hold on. No So you both know each other, and you both lost your licenses. Mine was stolen. Well, stolen, but you both don't have them. So you both, did you schedule a day? Like, go I have to go to the DMV. I don't want to go alone. We should do it together. And you pick the same day, or how'd that work? I was like, yeah, my scammer friend stole my ID. I need to go renew it. He's like, me too. I got to go renew mine. A so. scammer stole your ID? Yeah, my scammer. Did they take up your whole your life? No, <laughs> you have no, your no, own no, scammer. no. It was my friend who happens to be a scammer. <laughs> your friend Wait, stole your I'm sure stole my ID. Wait, Whoa. really? Yeah. Are they Why? How do you think this? Well, because they mentioned that they're a scammer. So <laughs> then when my ID went missing, I was like... Did you confront them about it? No. Why not? Because <laughs> the ID was expiring, I guess. Interesting. So, yeah, I was just like, I'm going to go get a new ID. Are you still mm. friends with this person? I am. Huh. But you don't want to talk about it with them? No. Why? Are you, are you averse to conflict? No. Are you? No, we fight all the time. No, <laughs> <laughs> we fight all the time. No, I don't think. No, I just don't think that you know. You know, it's worth bringing up. Yeah, like mm. I'm just like I'm gonna really? lock my credit, and you know, people are just scammers. You know, there's people be out there scamming. People, everybody has their scam, so you have to know your friends. Mm. So I just considered it. I also I could be you know in my head about it. Like you yeah. know, she just mentioned that. She scams. You know, she so I was, no so. How yeah, did she mention that? In what context? Just by, uh, I want to point out, it's kind of a little bit sexist of you, Andrew, to point out that you thought it was a guy. Because scammers can be women, too. No, I thought it was a woman. You said he. Oh, I, th I assumed it was a woman. Yeah. Was it a woman? Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, I assumed yeah. it was a woman. All women are, are liars. <laughs> fuck yes. That's yeah, what I'm saying. So am I going to abandon all my yeah, women friends? Yeah. <laughs> all women are liars. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Including my mother. <laughs> the biggest liar I know. <laughs> you could get behind I that. love you, Mom. <laughs> but I think that's interesting that you're still willing to be friends with her. Yeah. Is the friendship just that good or you just go back long enough or something? No, I was interested, I guess, in how she behaved as a person. So mm. I was like interested. And so when my ID came up missing, I was like, there we go. So <laughs> I was just gathering like, more information. Yeah, exactly. Well, have either of you ever scammed anybody? <laughs> Fuck yeah, I scam know. people all the time. <laughs> how so? Yeah, he's what do you do to scam people? The number one scammer. Hell yeah. <laughs> scam city. I'm fucking scam likely. You know that number that calls your phone? You know who, <laughs> you don't you. know who it is? You scam likely? Yeah. That's I'm that you. fucking guy. Yeah. <laughs> likely spam. I'm the Instagram scammer guy. If you need views and you want to fucking go viral, you want to go from zero to 100 real quick, we'll slide in my DM and I'll scam Whoa. you <laughs> and show up. you how to turn fucking turn up. Wow. I'm yeah. up. I admire your scam honesty. <laughs> Scammers just being are real. fun. Scammers are like very interesting. Yeah, huh. yeah. I, I just scam in a different yeah. way, you know. Yeah, I, I scam, but it's like a legit scam. You know? Yeah, it's like yeah. a legit scam. It's not, yeah. a, you know. So wait, so you, you I just want to point out, you both look very nice today. You look yeah. put together. Did you do this for your photo that you have to take? We didn't take a photo. It was a renewal. Oh, just a renewal. We just, we're just drippy like this. Oh, yeah. So I, I had to get a. I got a real ID recently. They took my photo. Damn, no, I didn't get a real ID. I just got a renewal. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Mm. We're, yeah, we're both in the fashion. The I was a little confused. By the You're in the fashion world? Yeah, we're both in the fashion world. Oh. I'm a designer. She's a fashionista. Oh, awesome. Can people, creator. can people buy your stuff online? You can. You How, can where, where can they look for it? Biff you, Bar. You can go to clubbefore.com. That's K-L-U-B-B-F-O-R.com. Okay. Mm. Or you can shop Drippy Merch, D-R-I-P-P-Y-M-E-R-C. 
ch.com is this a good example of your of the style you're selling uh, i just kind of put this on today if you we were doing a, a drip check right now yeah. I, I, have, I have nothing on of mine ex except these jeans but oh yeah, but similar chilling. okay the jeans but are yeah. the most drippy part that you got on yeah so. this is you know just a regular the ass inside fucking, outside inside out yeah. so did you yeah. make those i did like is that like hand like you did it all by hand or you designed them no, i made them we that's cool them. man yeah. Is the constructed upcycle? Is the hole like in the balls part of it? Nah, that's just having a big, <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh, that's just boss. You just bust out sometimes. That's yeah. cool. <laughs> that's cool. Um, this guy's looking through my hole right now. Yeah, a little uncomfortable. Well, you're well, flaunting the, whole, the, camera, <laughs> the camera. There we go. There we go. <laughs> um, wait. <so laughs> I, <laughs> how do you? How do you guys know each other through fashion? No, I met this beautiful young lady here about. 15 years ago in middle school Whoa, when really? i moved to the san fernando valley yeah i went to millican middle school and damn i met this girl here yeah whoa yeah, and did you start story. are you guys are you dating now or are you just friends he put the flower in my ear okay so you guys are dating that. a little bit when did you start dating in middle school or many years later uh with her it's kind of crazy i mean i'm gonna be honest i'm an honest guy i've kind of like always had this weird crush on this girl wow you know that is weird. And I dated one of her. I actually <laughs> yeah, in dated, middle school, he was dating, I dated my one best of her, her best friends. <laughs> really? And Whoa. I feel like, you know, she was the cause of that breakup because mm. of like a, a, some connection back then. But mm -hmm. I don't know. I've always kind of had this weird crush. And wow. Mm. Yeah, here we are as grownups. I definitely yeah. told her to dump him. Well, really? You I didn't did. think he was right? I had that influence. Yeah. I was like, yeah, it's no. Crazy. Because no. you wanted him for you yourself? Wanted him? Yeah. Down the line, that's what it would seem Jeez. like. I'm going to say at the time. Uh -huh. He just wasn't right for her. Okay, you got know? it. But he, yeah. I was right for her. Yeah. Wow. 15 years later. Just, you know, how did you make the move 15 years later? Were you just like, just... Uh, We've always kept in contact. Sure. But how um, do you transition into being romantic after so long, so long as friends? I mean, look at her. I know she's beautiful, but I'm just saying, like, how did you make that move? How did you, how did you like, let her know your intentions? Um... Because I feel like a lot of people don't know how to make that transition, you know, if they're friends with someone, but they're, they feel great stronger. Question. I, I, I great think you question. just kind of get serious about a person, you know. Uh -huh. I'm still working. I'm still, like, easing in that stage of seriousness, you know, which mm -hmm. is really taking it slow. But, yeah. you know, I don't know. You just get serious just, about someone. Okay. Just let them know your feelings, really. I yeah. Feel you accompany kinda. them to the DMV. Yeah, with for, flowers of course. in their That's hair. Nice. Yeah, yeah, you know. Do you think having the shared history of, like, having gone to middle school together and growing up together kind of makes you guys stronger as a couple? I think so. Yeah. I think it's kind of amazing because I feel like I've known her almost my whole life. So, yeah. you know, it's kind of, like, it's easy, mm -hmm. you know? Do you live together? No. No, it's definitely a base layer of friendship. Yeah. Like a mm. good friendship that can yeah. you know, go in and out. Mm. Yeah. Okay, interesting. Yeah. This is kind of a loose situation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> I like that. I like yeah. that. And you Little work in fashion. Fresh. You work yeah. in fashion as well. In what in what capacity? Yeah, I make clothes. Oh, cool. Yeah, Where can yeah. can people buy your clothes online? Yeah, they can. Okay. How, how can they find usually it? Usually customs. It's sensation. Okay. Yeah, sensation. How can you com. spell that? Like S I I I N S A T I O N. Like sensation, but okay. with an I. With many three eyes. eyes. Okay. The conscious three eyes. Because before I asked you to spell it, you was you acted like everyone would know how to spell sensation, it. <laughs> right? Yeah, <'cause> sensation. <laughs> <laughs> You're kind of like, you know, just go to sensation.com. No one's going to find that. Sensation.com with three eyes. Okay. Yeah, okay. sensation with three eyes. All four eyes if you include the one at the end, right? Yeah. I-O-N? Oh, yeah. So yeah, four. Yeah. yeah. Just I, do, I just say sensation with three eyes because I feel like people, if you know, you know. I and I want yeah. you to know. Oh, you, you want know, cool so people to buy your you shit. Know, you know, yeah. Well, it's yeah, definitely yeah. not yes. for and rich everyone. It's not for everyone. Is I'll this, say is this a good example? Are you wearing anything from your line or no? This is my this is my DMV fit. Okay, so yeah, it's not really I'm your sure. kind of style. Yeah, yeah, so much. But it's, it's, it's stylistic, no, really but it's not the kind of stuff you make. Yeah, no. I make like... She can't make I the stuff she make outside. I out. can't wear what I would make well, outside. She can wear it. But really? it's like exotic. It's too like sexy wear. or something? Yes. Oh, really? Yeah, mm. exotic dance wear. Anything for men? For Not yet. No. What about really open minded men? Yes. Okay, cool. That's like, I, yes, yes. <laughs> cool. Definitely for men. I say it's a sizeless, genderless <laughs> brand. Okay, mm. got yeah. it. Do you get, what do you guys do for fun? Eat? For fun? Yeah. Like, how do you spend your weekends? What's like, like, what's like a Friday night for you? Uh, I'm a workaholic. Okay. To be honest, I'm really working. I'm on like work guy, work and sleep. Yeah. I don't really go out and do too much. I'm cool. working and sleep. Same. Okay. Be a dad. I'm yeah. A dad You're a dad? dad? Yeah. How many kids you got? I got one. I nice. got a son. He's eight year old. Eight years old. Whoa. Yeah. How's that Shout going? Out legend. Sh a legend? Is that his name? That's his name. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. yeah. Fatherhood's cool. Yeah. Wow. yeah what have awesome. you learned uh, from being a father? Uh, I've learned to wrap it up. 
Oh, mm. to not get people pregnant? Yes. <laughs> mm. Yes, be ready for it. I was a baby having a baby. You know, yeah. I just feel like you. How old to, were you? I was 24. That's young. That's young. Yeah, I was young, you know. Yeah. Still figuring it out, you know. I just feel like it's a. There's no really time, you know, like there's no time to get ready uh-huh. in, in parenthood. I just feel like. Wow. You know, when it happens, you get ready. It's kind of like when you have that baby. So. Are you on good terms with the mama? Uh, okay. You make it work. We make it work. We co-parent. It's complicated. We, we, are, we, we, we do co-parent. Good. What is legend into these days? Why? Why? Why, yeah. That's what he's into. He's <laughs> asking why everything. Oh, he mm. just wants to know. Let's go to school, son. Why? <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. He's I'm curious. Hungry, why? That's a good question. Why? He's curious. Yeah. He's just a kid, man. He's into cartoons and he's actually in Fortnite. He's in the tech, too. Mm. Oh, cool. He's like in his phone. Well, I'm mm. in my phone, so I kind of I kind of raised my son off on the phone, which is. Which I never wanted to do, but yeah, he's a tech yeah. kid. Sometimes you gotta do does it. Does he um does he think what you do is cool in terms of fashion? Um, yeah, cause I kind of dress him, but he's more like I do other stuff on the internet too. So he knows me more for the other things. What that do you I do. do on the internet? Uh, a whole bunch of weird stuff. Okay. Mm. Yeah. You get weird on there. I get weird on there. Yeah, I pop my eyes out. I can oh. see your. Yeah. your, your, your I, you I used to do that. I retired though. I don't do it anymore. Well, uh, is it bad for you or something? No, I just don't do it anymore. Mm. My dog's eye popped out once when I was giving him a bath. That's crazy. I know. Yeah, but he don't do it anymore either. <laughs> your dog's badass. Yeah. Wait, so how'd you learn you could pop your eyes out? Shit, man. That's, that's a fucking crazy story. Your yeah, eyes your eyes please. look your eyes look like they've been popped out a number of times. Yeah. About <laughs> about a <laughs> two million four hundred sixty seven thousand eight hundred and fourteen times. Has Whoa. it changed the way they look because you popped them out so much? Nah. No, mm. they were always like that. Yeah, always, always, always had big ass always eyes. Always had big ass eyes. Yeah. Wait, hey, wait, how did you discover you could pop them out? Go uh, follow me at Chef Boy Bones. <laughs> okay. Chef Boy on, Bones. On Instagram and TikTok. I got okay. videos on there explaining the whole really? story. Really? All right. Yeah. Is it the thing that Wendy Williams was born with? No, is I don't know. Is it she like born a, with? Uh, she has something with like an, an eye bulge type disorder or something where like her eyes bulge. No, I'm, I'm looking to it. that now. Yeah, I remember I was... I'm a look. I just got the Chef Boy Bone Syndrome. Oh, Chef Boy Bones with a Z. With the Z. Oh damn, you got a lot of followers, my friend. Yeah. Well, you gotta have a lot of followers in this world. You gotta look at the eyes popping. Yeah, <laughs> like you I do. See it. This world is weird. It's ran by the internet, so. Yeah. Are true. you monetizing your internet presence? Yeah. Cause selling merch and stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Dude, your eyes and are going sc- crazy. And scamming in videos, people man. too. <laughs> look at look at his <laughs> eyes right there. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> This is awesome. I'm not scamming anybody, by no, the way. No, 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 no. You're awesome, I don't man. scam anybody. If you do need good promo, slide in my DM. I'm going to take care of you. It's right. really funny that you build a whole internet presence on your eyes popping out. This is cool. Yeah, so, that, so that's what I do now. I actually show people how to monetize their social media platforms, how to actually become a content creator, how to make money off of using your social media. A lot of people have social media, mm. and they get to a certain plateau, and they have all these followers, but... They're not making any money. So mm, having mm. a million followers is great. Having a million views on your videos, it's great. But if you're not getting a million dollars in your bank, well, nobody fucking cares. Yeah. So that's what I'm trying to help people that's get cool. more into putting the dollars behind getting the so views. So is, is the secret popping your eyes out? No, the secret's not popping my eyes out. You know, the secret is just being myself uh, and and learning the, the platform and yeah. learning the algorithms. Yeah. yeah. What's your favorite platform? Or what, what, what platform have you found most success on? TikTok. Yeah. I grew too. to a million followers in 30 days. I have 7.6 million on that platform right now. Whoa. But I grew to a million in 30 days of, you know, just grinding. Mm-hmm. The eyes, of course, was, you know, had something <laughs> to do with it. Yeah. But, like, back to it. I was doing views before yeah, the yeah, eyes. Yeah, the eyes yeah. kind of, mm-hmm. I integrated with what I do. But um, And are you making money from TikTok directly or from brand deals? Brand deals, and I make money from TikTok directly. They pay their one of my partners. We, we have a big TikTok Shout out too, TikTok. I got but we never make any. Tatted. We never make any money on TikTok. Well, we're not in Are the creator fund. You're not in the creator fund. Well, we you got to be in the creator it. fund. You yeah. got to be going live. Oh, uh, we got to be going live. Yeah, you got to be going live. Live is a big thing. If you're not going okay. live and uh and battling people every night, where you're mm-hmm. losing out of money. Yeah. Okay. All I've right. Heard of that? The Jason Nash style. Yeah. Okay. Um, All right. That's fair. Um, uh, does it does it hurt when you pop them up? Is it uncomfortable? No. Can you see more? Can you see more? I can. Four D. I can yeah, see. Yeah. <laughs> I got the Chef Boy Bones question. vision when I pop my eyes out, but Dude. I don't. I don't do it all the time because it's, it's a it's a very ancient power. Yeah. And I've exercised it a lot, yeah. so like I'm trying to not do it anymore. Wait, but does it change your vision? I can see through walls when I pop my <laughs> eyes out. <laughs> and do you pop your eyes out f- purely with your face, or do you have to use your hands? So, so have you seen Men in Black? Yeah. All right. So I got two aliens in my head. <laughs> 
<laughs> right? Yeah. And they, they pop my eyes out. So the thing about <laughs> it is people are not going to believe me, man. People are like so like one track mind. I'm not saying you guys are. No. I'm saying the internet is. Yeah, so I'm yeah. telling people I'm a fucking lizard. I'm a reptilian and I definitely am not human. So that's how I can pop my eyes out. I'm not from this planet. <laughs> Came is. here about five million years ago and I've been here. And I'm fucking, that's why they say black doesn't crack. Yeah. Uh, it is an ancient power. That's cool. That explains a lot. That explains a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Have you been able to do that since middle school? Yeah, I have. Whoa. I've been able to do it since bo- since birth. Whoa. My planet, yeah. On your planet. That's so where I was from. I came out, hopped out the womb. <laughs> Popped the eyes out. <laughs> your eyes came first. Bit my umbilical cord off. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. Do you ever want to go back to your home planet? Or are you happy I go, here? I go back all the time. Oh, all the time? Yeah. Cool. Does it, has your son time. been there? No. Okay. No. He's, he's got to get to the right age. He's a hybrid. Oh, okay. Uh. Yeah, he's half human, so. Yeah, they we don't let we don't allow half humans. Oh, you kind of a bit. Your pro, your planet's a little bit can't take problematic. Okay, I can't take Cubans there. They don't like humans. No Cubans. Humans. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but I guess no Cubans either because Cubans. No Cubans, Cubans either. Cubans are human as well. Yeah. They don't like Cubans or humans. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you have any kids? I do not. Do you want kids? I do. Mm. Mm. How many? Two. Two. Okay. That's good. That's a good number. Can when? You ima- can you imagine like? So many, I mean, you know, even my generation, you know, I have four siblings. My, my mom is one of seven. Can you wow. imagine having seven kids these days? It seems insane. It's a lot of kids. It's too yeah. many. Yeah, I could do it. <laughs> seven kids? Yeah. You think you could have seven kids today? I could raise maybe seven kids. I don't know about birthing. Right, that's a children. tough. Mm. That's yeah, a that's a lot. Mm. That's a lot. That's a lot of children. To. Wait, I never that's asked. Well, you never answered. What do you do for fun? What do, what do you, how do you spend your Friday nights? I mean, I like to stay home. I like mm. to go out. Sometimes I like to go to the, you know, the scene. It's LA, so mm-hmm. there's always a scene. Like a club type vibe? Yeah, like the secret clubs. Like, I, fi- I love to find, secret. like, a hidden door, mm. a hidden door club, yeah. you know, that, like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What they call those speakeasies? Yeah. yeah. I think to make Speakies, more money, the yeah. DMV should become that at I night. I think so, too. Yeah. Hell yeah. 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 I think that would be really cool. And you, like, have to show your ID to get in? Yeah, yeah. 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 That's deep. Yeah. It's got the space, yeah. I yeah, it's know. unused, you know, on the weekend. It's about bringing in the right energy, you know? Yeah. And then when mm-hmm. you come in for business, it would feel so much better. In yeah, because you'd be like, oh, yeah. man, I, last weekend I went crazy yeah. in that booth. Yeah, all the people would know. It'd be like sweat and glitter <laughs> yeah. left over on the counters. I'm over here like, what did I get myself into? I'm just in a fucking podcast on the side of the street. Yeah. yeah. That's what happens. Is this going on YouTube? Random. It will. Yeah. Yeah. Is this going on uh Instagram? It might. It's going to I'm the... i fucking uh, flag you guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For what? <laughs> <laughs> For awesome content. No, I'm talking shit. This is, this is actually pretty cool. I want my dollar, too. Yeah, we'll yeah, give it to you. It. I want $2. You'll get it. Okay. Actually, I, it's $4. I feel, Wait like a second. The, I feel like the second we let them go, we're going to get shut, shut down. Shut down, yeah, maybe. Yeah, these people, seem yeah, these people have been, you know, she's been pretty nice. Well, the funny thing is that guy took my sticker, took a sticker earlier, and he was, like, all stoked on us. But then I think maybe his bosses are like, this ain't happening. I was going to say, have you been here before? What's, the camera guy? What's the camera guy's oh, name? Okay. That's Jens. Uh, that's Jens. We did this here five years ago in 2019 at this DMV. Well, what kind of camera is that? We've been doing what this kind for of five iPhone or six years. That's yeah. an iPhone. Why don't you guys got a 13? fucking GoPro, man? You know why? Because we're public and we don't want to get shut down. And that that's really chill. It's like low key. Low key. Yeah. Like, honestly, uh, people don't even know that we're filming. You guys time. are smart podcasters. <laughs> yeah. You guys are okay. The we, table and the cord. Yeah, we've done it all. We do real low key, you know. Uh, what's your ultimate goal? My ultimate goal, I guess, is to be happy. Yeah. Mm. Are you, Are you happy that? now? Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm pretty happy. Yeah. That's okay. cool. So you did it. I, yeah, I could <laughs> die now and be like... Cool. You know, I sure. would do that, too, if you died. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> good. I wouldn't want, you know, anything else. I really yeah. wouldn't. No, yeah. because she was happy. She lived a good life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Did you Just ever have a point in your life yeah. where happiness was hard to come by? Or have you been always oh, pretty yeah. happy? Yeah. yeah no, you struggled. No, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, life can be a struggle. Yeah. But I'm glad you found some... I don't know. A good spot. Yeah. Found that that place where you just decide to be happy and you're like, okay, I yeah. get it. I get it now. Yeah. Do you, are you comfortable talking about the hard place you were in? Yeah. 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 It was hard. Go for <laughs> it. It was rough. What, 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 just why? Circumstances why was it hard? Um, because I guess I didn't fully understand why happiness was a choice mm. at the time. Yeah. And so I was stuck in the, the nowness of it, but not really in the, in the now. So, um, mm. yeah. So I think just deciding, like my mom has always told me my happiness is not your response. She's like, your happiness isn't my responsibility. Your happiness isn't anybody's responsibility. I don't deal with feelings. 
and I never really understood it and then it came to a place where I'm like oh okay so my happiness is a choice it's a responsibility for myself so now every day I just sort of do my best for going towards that path but I'm happy at the end of the day I'm happy because I'm here I'm just happy I'm just gonna constantly be happy yeah just choose happiness Mm. and then everything else that rolls by I let that be and roll by in that moment but I know that my grounding place is to be happy Mm. yeah so that's important happiness yeah some people choose peace I know some people who don't want to be happy they want to be at peace because they don't like because if I'm not when I'm not happy when I experience a different emotion it's a change for me like some people if they're not happy Mm. all the time Mm. when they have a sad moment they can kind of just deal with it Mm -hmm. but for me a sad moment is very dramatic because it's Mm -hmm. very opposite of my happy moments right it's very dramatic and it might be a lot but then i'm gonna get back to being happy and i'm gonna allow myself to get back to being happy yeah so but sometimes life is all about that that balance and going experiencing both you know definitely you're gonna experience both for sure yeah 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 yeah. um and how about you goals um shit good goal yeah yeah i don't know i'm pretty stoned (laughs) <laughs> I'm pretty stoned and I'm thinking how I got myself into a random podcast on the side of the fucking road. Not expecting this. It happens. Um, it happens to the best. And I normally you. don't do podcasts for free, which is kind of crazy. We're giving you a dollar, brother. I know. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that this is the this is the cheapest podcast I've ever. But it's also like a freelance podcast that I came on. So I guess it's like, cool, I get a dollar and I get a little bit of publicity. Who, never, who knows where it goes? Who knows, exactly. man? My goals uh, sell a fucking million records, man. I'm not. Oh, you make music too? I do make music. I'm a rapper. How can people find your music? The same name you said? Chef Boy Bones. Chef Boy Bones on Spotify? Chef Boy Bones on Spotify. Chef Boy Bones on Instagram. Chef Boy Bones on TikTok. And there's a Z in there, right? At the end? There's a Z in there. Okay. I'm a fucking rapper. Yeah, I'm one of the hottest out there with Nate. I yeah. like that. Sheesh. The Valley. Valley Boy. Nice. How any many any rappers in the Valley think they got flows? Hit me up on a DM on the Instagram. I'll battle rap anybody. Do you freestyle? I do freestyle. Online? Like on TikTok? I freestyle you said? anywhere. Really? Like Instagram. right here? Remember, times was bad. We ain't had no cable. Couldn't get a dollar. Pockets wasn't stable. I walk inside your business, show you what that K do. Getting money now, and I'm screaming, fuck a label. I'm walking around up. the sidewalk till well, you rapping. stumble upon a podcast table. I did stumble upon a podcast table. I didn't think it was real. I thought this shit was a fable. Ooh. Sitting down, microphone connected to cables. I'm like a horse running fast off the stable. And lady looking like she wanted me to be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting down and fresh. I'm so stylish. I'm on the track. I'm crazy. Yeah, I'm wilding. Nails, fingers down. I'm not filing. Wow. No taxes. Hit them with the axes. They not up in my bracket. Shh, look at this guy's crack shit <laughs> need to pull his pants up <laughs> hit him with the nine and make him pick his mans up i'm done with this podcast give me my dollar man all right so Thank i can you. make a jam Thank you, you guys. Earned it. <laughs> Thank you guys, you guys for being here. Awesome. No, that was. Yeah. I, really, I really don't want the dollar, but I did enjoy the podcast. No, you we love having you. Have you, have to donate, you have to take it. Donate it. Do something with it. Just you know. Podcast. Woo! Shout out podcast. But shit outside, it's your boy Chef Boy Bones. Hey. We're in Glendale right now. Give the dollar to that mean lady. See if it cheers her up. Oh my god. <laughs> you guys are so getting kicked out. No, she's yeah. actually she's actually really cool. She's been fucking with us the whole time. Yeah, no, it's all good. Podcast, so but outside. What's that? You guys from the valley? Uh, mm-hmm. No, we live like just on the other side of the valley. But you know, where's the other side of the valley? Like, uh, like Los Feliz area. Well, you one of those guys? You guys are like some silver guys. I know. Lake those guys. are like. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> I can <laughs> tell like by the swag. <laughs> That's where we you live. You got the Silver Lake swag. So but, I'm yeah. over there on the other side, so I have to pass through there to get to LA, and yeah. I'm always like, "What is this <laughs> random like air?" But it's so cool. It's not like it's Felix? so groovy. I love yeah. it. Los Feliz is the by uh, yeah. and the mountains. Yeah, I've never been to Los Feliz. No, you have. We've like it's right by Silver well, Lake. Yeah, they're next to each other. Yeah, like you drive through it. I feel randomly. rich right now. <laughs> <laughs> I got a fucking dollar for nothing. <laughs> yeah, we're just talking shit. That's what it's all about. Um, but you goes. guys are great guests. We really appreciate both of you. Thank appreciate you. it. Yeah, yeah. Where are you guys going to be next? I don't know. We, oh, we have to go to Austin next week for South by Southwest. Well, I'm going to see you in Austin. Are you going to be there? I might be there. Hit us up. Ooh. You know what? I'm, I'm actually not going to be there. I'm, well, if I don't go to Spanibus, 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 
This is Cannabis Cup in Spain. Oh, that's mm. cool. If I don't go there, then I'll be in Austin. Ooh. Okay. Well, but yeah, I'm going to follow you guys. I want a dollar. Hit us yeah. up. Yeah. I'm yeah, going to get yeah. rich off you guys. We'd love for you to get rich. Is it a dollar every podcast? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah. Well, we'll send you clips if we make some clips of you. We'll let you know. Yeah, send it to me. I'll follow you guys back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Appreciate Sounds it. Good. Yeah, hey, we, we appreciate both of you. Yeah, thank Take care. You. I'm Andrew. Thank this you. is Cole, by the way. Nice to meet you, Cole. Thank yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you both. You're lovely. Yeah. Thank you for giving me the pink microphone. Of course. It matches your lipstick. It looks great. When I saw it, I was like, um. Thank it looks great, you and you guys it. both look nice, and enjoy the day. Congrats on getting the DMV done. Yeah. Thank you. It's a chore. Bye-bye. See you guys. There we go. Bye-bye. All right. Wow. All right. Let's see. See you guys. Take care. Um, oh, she's smiling. I hey, how are you? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. You want to talk to us? No worries. Hope you did everything you did at the DMV. What time is it? Uh, we've only been 30 minutes. Okay. Let's take a break to thank our sponsors, and then when we come back, we'll see if we're being shut down. Yeah, that might be happening. Let's do an ad. Oh my god, I am s- I've been dying for this sponsor yes. for years. Because I've been using it for years, and I've been so pissed that it hasn't sponsored us yet. Cole's been really excited about this, and we're talking about Factor. Factor. Eating better is easy with Factor's delicious, ready-to-eat meals. Every fresh, never-frozen meal is chef-crafted, dietitian approved and ready to go in just two minutes. You'll have over 35 different options to choose from every week, including Calorie Smart, Protein Plus, and Keto. Also, there are more than 60 add-ons to help you stay fueled up and feeling good all day long. What are you waiting for, Get started today and get after your goals. You've eaten this forever. Dude, I've like been years. doing it for, honestly like probably two years now. It's what I it's all I eat. I don't have time. Look, cooking is for saps. Yeah. It's a time waster. It's I don't true. cook. I can't cook. I can't you I buy ingredients and it rots in my fridge. No, he wants restaurant quality meals that only take two minutes. Yeah. I straight up it's fresh. You I, like their I, smoothies I too, right? Holes. I like their smoothies. I get their protein shakes. Yeah. Every morning, that's what I eat for breakfast. A protein shake and a banana. I mean, I see this stuff getting delivered truly every week to you. Yes. For years. Big boxes. What's one that you like? You had one recently, oh, yeah. right? Yeah, I love I like I like the um like the jalapeno and lime chicken. And mm. it comes with like uh cheddar, right? Yeah, yeah, it's like cheddar, but it's not it's, it's not carby potatoes, but it's um what's the word? Uh Cauliflower? Uh, cauliflower, yeah. Uh, it has like a cauliflower base. I saw you eating a chicken alfredo pasta one time. Oh, yeah. Broccoli on Big it. Big time. They you got like pastas. They got, they, if, you, if you're keto, they have keto options too. It's great. Yeah, Look, I, I've had a couple of them. They have some vegetarian ones that were really, really good. Garrett Watts turned me Oh. And it's helped you with like your and weight goals yeah. and your and your exercise They're goals. They're pre-portioned. It's all good. It's all for, and it just tastes delicious. We, when we traveled to um, Kentucky. Kentucky. I brought all of my factor Cole meals with me in my suitcase. <laughs> for the entire trip, he brought factor meals. He had like he brought dry. He brought like ice on board, yes. like ice packs. I brought ice packs to. TSA was not happy. No, but you like it, and it makes life simple for you. Oh, absolutely. And they taste good. Cole is like a walking endorsement for this. It's the best meal prep you or the best like meal delivery oh, yeah. you've ever had, right? Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Sign up and save. We've done the math. Factor is less expensive than takeout, and every meal is dietitian approved to be nutritious and delicious. Head to factormeals.com slash PBO50 and use code PBO50 to get 50% off. That's code PBO50 at factormeals.com slash PBO50 to get 50% off. Truly, take a look. It's a great product that Cole has been subscribed to for years. So check it out. Get some food. Thank you, Factor. Now we'd like to thank ZocDoc. Are you that one friend in the friend group that loves to treat yourself? Yes. It's okay. Honestly, we all do it. You know, you opt for that extra legroom seat on the plane because vacation starts now. I know how that goes. Well, if you treat yourself to the top options with everything in life, why settle on finding a doctor? It is your health, after all, which is the most important thing. Enter ZocDoc, the place where you can find and book tens of thousands of top-tier doctors, all with verified patient reviews. So don't settle. Go for the best and find the right doctor for you. With ZocDoc, you've got more options than you know. I've used this before. It's really easy. Yeah. ZocDoc is a free app and website where you can search and compare highly rated in-network doctors near you and instantly book appointments with them online. Who's got time to drive? No. You don't have to. Well, you, the appointments could be online or they could be in person. Yeah. It's either way. Uh, I was just talking even regardless. Of oh, just in, gen- that's in general. a general thing? Yeah. Yeah, it's hard to drive. Once you find the doc you want, you can book them immediately. No more waiting awkwardly on hold with a receptionist. And these docs all have verified reviews from actual real patients. You can compare to find someone that's going to treat you the way you want to be treated. So true, Queen. We're talking about booking appointments with tens of thousands of top-rated, patient-reviewed, credible doctors and specialists. You can filter specifically for ones who take your insurance, are located near you, and treat basically any condition you're searching for, whether it's acne or pimples or... Yeah. Or health stuff. Health. The typical wait time to see a doctor booked on ZocDoc is between 24 and 72 hours. That's it. You can even score same-day appointments. 
So hot. ZocDoc is great. I use this and you should too. Go to ZocDoc.com slash outside and download the ZocDoc app for free. free. Then find a book, a top rated doctor. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash outside. outside. ZocDoc.com slash outside. outside. Look, you got to take care of your health. This is an easy and free way to do it. Check it out, Queen. Okay, mm. welcome back. Yeah. It looks like this lady's approaching us. I think if we just pretend to keep talking, she, she won't, won't want to interrupt. interrupt. So if we just yeah. keep kind of yeah. like and this going guy's and going. Here. Hey, hey sir, guy. how are you? I like your hair. Looks nice. It looks real nice. Um, yeah, she's got a pit. She's writing notes on a little legal pad. It's a very yeah. interesting style. Maybe she's like taking notes on like how to do like a podcast. Podcast, yeah. She might just be learning from us. Yeah. Hey, how are you Hi, guys? Hi, hello. Nice to see you. Yeah, but I think if we just keep, if, if we if keep going, we, if it looks like we're physically talking, like see how I'm going, like this. It's like she's like writing us a ticket. We're like engaged. Yeah, yeah, that's just true. No, that's a good like, point. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah. We're like more it's animated, kind of more like. like yeah. And why do you do that? Because uh, it's it's it it looks like important. And how does like it make it, you uh, feel? It's like I'm in the middle of a valid point that she doesn't want to interrupt. Right. I mean, I get that. I definitely get that. Yeah. Yeah. For the listeners, um, we're like sort of like just oh she's waving out. at us. Oh. Yeah. Hi. Hey, how's it going? Hi. Sure. Yeah. 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 Sure. Yeah. Can you just go like to the corner? Yeah. Yeah. We can move down to there. Sure. Yeah. This right here is like. Yeah. We don't want anyone to get hurt. No worries. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. We, we're almost done anyway. We got like 20 more minutes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no worries. Yeah. yeah. We'll move. Can you film that, this guy, Joe? What's up? Yeah. Please yeah, yeah. come sit down. Yeah, yeah, come park and hang. All right. We're going to move. Yeah, we just, yeah, we'll move. No, no problem. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hello. hey. What's hey. Good? Thank you for helping us move. What is your Thank name? You. Oh, my name's Revan. Revan. Revan, from the car. You were driving. Yeah, like Revan your car. Yeah. Oh, that's Whoa. cool. Were you at the DMV? No, I was actually, uh, I had to help out my old high school drop off some things. Oh, what were you doing? What were uh, you dropping I off? To, I had to drop off like these baseball helmets for like coaching Whoa. because I worked, I work at John Burroughs in Burbank. Uh, mm. That's a high school, right? Yeah. And so they, they were playing Hoover right now for baseball and uh-huh. they asked me to do that favor. So I was taking the streets back because Google said it was like super traffic. Oh yeah. And then, and then you stumbled on us. No, seriously. Yeah. Cause I seen your guys' TikToks. Oh, and I'm like, cool. no way I might run into these guys one day. And, and then here you are. Here I am. That's no, awesome, Revan. Wait, so you teach Wait. baseball? Uh, yeah, I coach after school, and then um, during the day I work at the high school as a instructional aide for the special needs program at the oh, high school. Oh. Yeah. So you used to go to that high school? Yeah, it's weird. Is uh, that a trip to work there? Oh no, yeah, seriously, because some of my teachers like are still there, and they're wow. I can't like they want me to call them by their first name, and I still can't do that. I'm like, oh hey, Mr. Thompson, I still gotta no, I can't. Now call you're him. a colleague. Yeah, Whoa. I can't call him Gary. Like it's right. weird to call him that. Yeah. Whoa. So are you like? How do you? How did? Did you know as a student that you'd end up working there? If you told me six years ago I'd go back to my old high school and work there, I'd laugh in your face and call you a weirdo. But uh, why? What did you want to do back then? <laughs> I mean, like, who wouldn't want to be a professional athlete? Right. Oh. But I was actually like going to school for business, so I was thinking I was working in like the big four or any kind of corporate job, but. Mm-hmm. The problem with those is that around here, it's all like pyramid scheming or really? just scamming. Scammers. Yeah. Whoa. So like literally I walked in on a pyramid scheme. I didn't even know it. Whoa. Yeah. Because of the job interview, it was like, okay, why are they pulling two other people, me and this other person in a separate room? And they put the six other people in another room and they had their interviews like that. It was like five minutes. But me and this other guy, we were in the room for like three hours. Why? What? Yeah. And I had no idea why. And then they kept calling me back and I ended up having to block their number. What? How'd you figure out it was a pyramid scheme? Um, so the building was really shady. So the company, I don't even know what the, I forgot the name of the company, but I, I was like, okay, go to this building. And then strangely enough, some guy escorted me to my car, like to the building and like, was like, oh, okay. And then I look for the directory and you see on the directory of those buildings, yeah. Yeah. nothing was there. Okay. It was just like an empty slot for where their room is supposed to be. They like rented it for the day or something. Oh, it felt like it, yeah. Even Whoa. the office space, like they're playing. A, I don't know if it's okay in corporate to start blasting YG and the Migos, but <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but they were playing that super loud. And then the boss comes out and it's like, oh yeah, this is a meeting. Like we're having a fun meeting. I was like, it's a Tuesday morning. Like what do you mean you're having fun at eight o'clock in the morning with? I mean I don't. Wow. Yeah. 
Huh. Whoa. And they took me with, I had bleached my hair at the time, and I'm thinking, like, oh, no way I'm getting in with bleached hair. And they're like, yeah, we actually appreciate your bleached hair and showing up. Like, they said is, that? It was so weird. What, they, was, what, what did you apply for? Yeah, what was the job? It was supposed to be this uh, management training position. But then my question was, like, why am I getting involved with sales? Like, mm. they're asking me to make sales and make phone calls. And I was like, ooh, this doesn't mm. feel right. That didn't sit right. Because of the, So they want you to scam people, basically. Yeah, they want me to scam people in hopes of becoming my own manager of scamming. Right. And I was like, oh, that doesn't, that's not really morally correct. It's not a good thing for society. Right. Damn. So now you, but now you scam special needs students? <laughs> uh, I mean, I like to think I like to be a good educator. Oh, okay, Sometimes cool. you just got to fake it till you make <laughs> it. Because yeah, yeah. I know for sure I'm having rough days, mm -hmm. but I just put on this fake smile like, hey, I'm doing okay, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's consistent for them. Like, they'll mm -hmm. be able to see that, oh, you know, I may be having a bad day, but my teacher instructor's having a great day mm -hmm, all the time, mm -hmm. so I can feel safe in like a safe space. That's in the great. Room. How and did it, how did you get into working with special needs? Um, it started with like my old high school coach hitting me up, asking me if I wanted to coach, mm -hmm. and I kept telling him, "Nah, I'm not ready to go back." And he and, called and baseball. Me, you're saying, right? yeah, baseball, okay, cool, yeah. Cool. And he called me three times, like weekly. It was like I told him no, and he called me back a week. I'll give you one week. Calls me back a week exactly, second time. And it's like, how about now? I'm like, no. And the third time around, I was really smart and said, how about you give me a job in the school? And he goes, give me five minutes. Whoa. Five minutes goes by, calls me right back. He's like, all right, you're going to work in the special needs department as an instructional aide. Pick up your paperwork. See you Monday. Whoa. And I was just like, oh. So you basically got two jobs all at once. Yeah, two part job jobs make a full time yeah. job. Yeah. So I guess that's how it works. And then throughout the job, I learned that I think connecting with the kids is super important to me. And being in, in which context? Both contexts? Yeah, both contexts. Just being a positive role model for them. Because I want them to have a better life than me. Yeah. Mm. And, you know, sometimes the, the bad rap about special needs is like they're special, but no, like they are normal just like me and mm -hmm. you. We mm -hmm. just got to give them different accommodations or mm. prepare for them differently. And they just want to have their voice heard. And yeah. I love giving them a platform to have their voice heard. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. That's great. Thank does, you. Does it, is it, is it, are, are the special needs, is it anything specific or does it range across the it's spectrum? A, yeah, it's mild needs? to moderate. So I'll usually have a few kids that are like slightly autistic or I'll have a kid who's got severe ADHD mm -hmm. or a kid that's got anger management issues. And honestly, I have some kid who may be battling a disorder that I don't even know about. Mm -hmm. It just says on this education plan that, hey, yeah, this yeah. student feels this way, so accommodate them this way. Or yeah. even like one of my students, I read, I read to them. Like mm. on the test, like I'll take them outside and like, hey, can you read this to me? Mm. That's all they need. It's yeah, not like yeah. it's not anything different. Do you think they that. appreciate you being young and you haven't gone to that school? Oh, and stuff? yeah. Oh, totally. Because yeah. like it's this problem with education where it's the old guard and the new yes. guard, like the new guard of us young educators trying to come in. But the old guard's like, I'm not going to change. I'm not going to do this. And that scares everyone away. So all the students think like these teachers are like these old farts mm. and all the new teachers get scared away because well i can't get a job because you're holding my job yeah and so that tenured in the union all that crazy stuff yeah okay. that makes Interesting. sense Interesting. so you're kind of bridging that gap a little yeah bit. i would like to think i'm like in the middle for them where like i'm not i'm more of like an older brother like i'm gonna hold you accountable but at the same time i'm not an old fart where i'm gonna like <laughs> stick by the rules like i get because i've been in your shoes before i'm not too far off from you. yeah i mean your name is revin i mean that's pretty cool dude no thank you yeah it's probably one <laughs> how do you spell that r-e-v-i-n so it's oh, just like yeah. kevin but you'll slap a little r instead where, of a k <laughs> where'd that come from um so my parents um thought it was funny like my mom thought it was like <laughs> irvin like irv like a, then my mom's like oh i'll get bullied if i'm named irvin so we'll make it revin Huh. Oh, yeah. But then I ended up still getting bullied, yeah. so it doesn't matter any either way. It just I but you seem like dorky. a cool kid. It seemed like it worked out. Right? Oh yeah, it turned out okay. I like to think it turns out okay. So now you remember me because my name is Revan. I you love don't hear it. A lot. You don't hear a lot of those out You've there. You've never met anyone else. No, I heard Raven, but right. that's about as close as it gets. Yeah, that's, that's so, so Raven. Raven. Yeah, that's so Raven. That is so, that's Raven. so Raven. My eighth grade science teacher said she would watch a TV show called That's So Raven. Yeah, and I would hold her to it. And now you're working with her. <laughs> I, I, was, I actually emailed her like hey I'm at, at the high school now and she huh? told me she was really proud of me oh, oh, cuz cool. she never thought I would I mean she was crazy but I mean <laughs> I'm glad she thinks enough I'm crazy to be try to be an educator at least yeah that's yeah. cool man that's do you so see cool. a future in education <laughs> Yeah, so I actually just finished applying to like go back to school and get my credential. Wow. Because it's weird because I went to school for business, so my um, bachelor's degree is in business, yeah. my master's degree is in business. Okay. So now I got to go back to school to get a master credential in yeah. my. Mm. Yeah. Wow. But you also wanted to be a professional baseball player? I mean, I did, but hey, if the Savannah Bananas give me a call, I wouldn't be mad to like oppose to that because I still do train like yeah. very intensely as mm -hmm. if I'm going to do that one day. Wait, is that like yeah, the lowest? Yeah, yeah. Who are the Savannah Bananas? So, so the Savannah Bananas are like this super fun baseball group. Think of like the Harlem Globetrotters. You want to sit down? 
Yeah, come ha- come oh, join. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, we can get another. Yeah, yeah, that is. Yeah. Awesome. And then you guys can be next if you want. Yeah, sure. Come, come sit, come sit. This episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. Let's talk about sex, guys. Remember the days when you were always ready to go? Yes. Yeah. Now you can increase your performance and get that extra confidence in bed. Listen up, BlueChew.com. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra, but it's chewable tablets at a fraction of the cost. Mm. You can take them anytime, day or night, so you can plan ahead or be ready whenever an opportunity arises. Oh my god, I wish an opportunity would arise for everyone in the world. The process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. The best part? It's all done online, so no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. Blue Chew's tablets are made in the USA and prepared and shipped directly to your door in a discreet package. I had a discreet package. I used to have a really discreet package. Yeah, used to be then tiny. I started doing Blue yeah, Chew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how you get a not a discreet package. Exactly. It comes in a discreet package, but your package won't be discreet. Ooh. That's a good way to think about it. Does it work? Don't think you need it? Try it for a month and see. You're going to love it. You could be missing out on the best sex of your life. Come on. I love that stuff. Yeah. Her, uh, I mean, I hope to one day. You know, yeah, we're going to get there one we'll day. We'll get there. Blue Chew wants to help you have better sex. Discover your options at BlueChew.com. Chew it and do it. And we've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code outside. outside at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's BlueChew.com. Promo code outside, outside. to receive your first month free. Visit BlueChew.com for more details and safety information. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring this episode. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Hi, it's Andrew here doing the ad alone. Cole is in Florida focusing on his Florida stuff is what he told me, whatever that means. What's the first thing you'd do if you had an extra hour in your day? And now you listening, you can answer. Oh, wow, that's fascinating. You know, a lot of us wish that we had more time, but the question is, how would we spend that time? And the best way to squeeze that extra special thing into your schedule is to know what's important to you and to make it a priority. And therapy can help you find out what matters to you so you can do more of it and spend your time wisely. I go to therapy every week. It's really, really nice. I love talking to my therapist. I feel like it really just allows me to unpack my life in a way that makes the hours that I'm not in therapy more enjoyable and more free of the burdens of my own mind which is kind of nice. And I think everyone can benefit from therapy and figuring out things about themselves that they wish that they knew before they started therapy. And if you're thinking of starting therapy, you should give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Learn to make time for what makes you happy with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash outside today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash outside. You get 10% off. You got to do it. I don't know how people do podcasts alone. I just miss my guy so much. Ugh, I'm going to call him. This is, this is Revan. He's a guest and we're the hosts. Hi. Um, Revan, nice to meet you. Rel. Great to meet you. What's your name? Rel. 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 How are you? I'm doing good. Oh, put good. These on? Yeah, put I, these on. You'll be I, able to hear. I, oh, perfect. Yeah, I oh, I see. Rail, right there. It's your birthday? Yeah. Dude, happy birthday, dude. Oh, it's Rail's birthday. It's, it's, look at the awesome. camera. Happy, yeah, hey. happy hey. birthday. Hey, guys. Wow. What did you do? So you went to Universal, I see? Yeah, so I have the season passes, and I was one of, it's one of those days where it's like, I'm really happy that my birthday is actually on the weekday, because oh, you can oh, go nice. to the theme park it's and chill. just no one's there. Yeah, no, nice. it's empty. No and, one's there at all. Yeah, and they, yeah. Just give, and they just give you a little button, and I guess like this was the this was the year like the one year anniversary of their like Nintendo Land thing. Oh. So I think it was an, another button on top oh, of that. Oh, dude, that is so sick. Isn't it so wow. cool? Yeah, I, we, and me and my friends, we literally just went there for lunch. Oh, we just, oh, you just hung out for a little yeah. bit. Yeah, because yeah, the annual passes are actually really good. Yeah. Um, because I was thinking about that recently, because Disney just recently like uh, reissued their like ma- their season passes or something yeah, like that. Yeah. Now. The I think the base minimum one is like five hundred dollars. Dude, yeah. I got the oh. one in the middle where it's like eight hundred. Oh my god! Oh, you're brutal. a Disney adult. <laughs> oh, you got it. I like I like to think my mom made me a Disney adult. So <laughs> yeah. shout out to my mom. She got me that pass. So I like to go there often. Because I cool. never went there when I was younger. I really? thought it was over. So she's trying to make it up for you. Now? Oh yeah, and totally. Like now that I'm an adult, I can experience like I can drink at California Adventure, sure. like Star Wars bar. You can get a little Ooh. drink there now. That's Fun. I hate how they put in parentheses two drink limit, but I mean, hey, <laughs> just making the most of it out there. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, like at, so that, at, that, at that point, they're like, they're just, they're just protecting your wallet. Like, please do not yeah, drink yeah, it. Yeah, drink yeah, more than yeah, two yeah. here. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. We yeah. want you to spend money other places, not here, please. Yeah. Uh, how old are you turning? Or did I'm you turning turn? 34. Whoa. Dude, that's awesome. Dude. Yeah. Congratulations. I am. I'm. It, it was. It's a very. Au- it's a very awkward age. Of just because like it's right in between like the important ages. Because like mm. I, I feel like like once you like once you turn like 25. Yeah. The only birthdays that like matter, quote unquote, are just like if it ends in a five and a zero. Yeah. yeah. That, so like, when I turn 25 next year, my birthday's 
that's the only one that's going to matter every birthday after that. I will tell you that my that I do not remember a single birthday between 25 and 30. Oh. I don't even think the five ones matter. I think only the zero ones yeah, matter. Yeah, the fives are just like if you like to do stuff on your birthday, they can matter, but otherwise it's just maybe 10 years. Yeah. Sure. But yeah, like sure. but but I will say uh, if you if you're 25 this year, your your 30s kick ass. Like I feel so much better in my 30s than I've really? ever in my 20s. I feel good in my mid 20s right now. Yeah. Like you're going to be even beat. better, brother. Gonna, Promise? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. absolutely. I agree with that. Yeah. Did absolutely. you learn more about yourself? Have you learned more about yourself in your 30s? I think in my 30s it was it was a little bit of that, and I think I don't know something like around when I turned like 29, 30 ish. Something kind of clicked where I just fully stopped caring, like caring how I was perceived by other people. Oh yeah. Mm. Something something turns off around that age where just like I am fully going to do whatever I want to do. That's yeah, cool. Absolutely. And that's it. And that's the end of it. That's awesome. Yeah. That's great. Um, yeah. So did you and decide... And just by the way, everyone in the comments, please perceive him and write negative stuff. <laughs> <laughs> just perceive, just write a bunch of perceptions. Yeah. yeah. He, give, he gives you full permission. He gives you full permission. Just yeah, perceive. You don't, yeah, you don't per, care. Per, yeah. Per, per, perceive them, but yes, that's fine. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm kidding. kidding. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. I'm kidding. Everyone's going to love you. Oh, perfect. Um, um, wait, wait, wait. So, uh, on your, you decide to top off your special birthday <laughs> by saving the best for last, the DMV. Dude, Absolutely. that is crazy. That's the number one ride in America. No, no, it, <laughs> best for last. Oh, oh yeah. Like it's, if you ever, if your favorite part of a theme park is lines and you go to the DMV, <laughs> you're having the best time of your life. You actually obviously. get a lot of practice waiting in line at the DMV for those rides. Exactly, like, it, tra it trains you. Yeah. Wait, why are you going to the DMV? No, I'm not. I'm not going to DMV. Um, my friends that I came with, they live in the in the, oh, near the, in the, in the apartment, like right down They're the street DMV over there. They're DMV adjacent. Exactly. So like through through osmosis, we're nearby the DMV. I get it. Oh, I get it. okay. And like we're literally driving by here, and I see literally the back of your heads, and I'm like, I know what that is. Oh, I know yeah, exactly see, what that exa is. That's yeah. exactly. I drove right there, and I was like, no way, it's these people. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. No, wow. I know exactly what this is. Mm. So we we made an entire loop around the block, <laughs> exact, dude. and we parked right here. Dude, oh. hot dude. Same. Exactly. Oh yeah. Exactly. <laughs> it's funny that at the DMV episode, two people in cars <laughs> yeah, are on that, our show. Yeah. Who would have thought? By? Yeah. Who would have thought? That's so wow. perfect. Oh my god. Do you have any evening plans for your birthday? Yeah. I'm I'm going to go to dinner with my partner. Oh, um, we're gonna go to Little Tokyo. There Ooh. is a new um, like Japanese style like hot pot place there. Okay, yeah. that um, I had went to a couple weeks ago like on accident because okay. I was kind of just wandering around trying to find a place to eat, and I did the dumb thing where I walked in and then I felt obligated to eat there because everyone because it was just empty enough that everyone was looking at me. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm just like, well, okay, well, now I can't leave. Whoa. And it is, a, it is like super like nice, like ultra, it was like, good. like traditional yeah. style, like Japanese style hot pot. Like it was like a four course meal, Whoa. like appetizers and like real nice, like. And you were solo course. last time. I was, yeah. it, was fully by, <laughs> it was fully by myself. I'm like texting, like I'm texting my partners. Like, I don't know how I got here, <laughs> but I have way too much food and everyone's very nice and they poured me way too much to drink. That's so I funny. might die here, mm -hmm. but I'm going to die happy. Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, how'd you meet your partner? Um, <laughs> it is the most like like LA like queer um, <laughs> experience I could ever describe the most like the most base yeah. uh, ver way you can think of like two queer people in LA meeting is that we literally met in a Buffalo exchange oh, <laughs> and yeah. we were both just stopping and talking at the time yeah. and cool. they had given me their number like and had they just sort of like here's just my number just straight up just here's your oh, number that's cool and, and we're talking about and they had literally never done that before Whoa. and and we and I was just like all right because I, I like I've never gotten I'm what's, never, wait I, what's their name uh, their name is Michelle uh, they, so, did, hi, Michelle. They, they did that with me I'm sorry oh, okay <laughs> yeah I, you, you know I, it, it wasn't surprised well it worked the first time and now they're doing it all over the place <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly. yeah it's, like, right. it's like all right we got to make sure like if this is a if this is a tried and true method or okay so they just thing. gave you their number yeah and then I I texted them you know and things really like clicked super well it's it's only been like like maybe five weeks. Oh, <laughs> pretty new. Oh, very, wow. very. You're already recent. partners, though. I mean, it's it's one of things where like there's, there's, there's no there, there's no like there's no like gender neutral like way to like do it otherwise. But like partner. Um, but whatever, I mean, you're like thing. you want like you're you're not dating other people. You're like yeah. or you maybe it's pretty, exclusive. Pretty, like. pretty, pretty much. It's getting uh, there. It's getting yeah, there. And, and that was like literally like this past like mm. over this past weekend. Okay. Really, mm. We're wow. just like we're both looking at wow. each other and being like, I don't know how we got here, but we both like something just meshed really well. Yeah, I know the feeling. Like. And well. it's one of these where it's like, you know, I, you know, I've been dating for a while. It's been, oh God. <laughs> oh, <bad. laughs> Like, I'm trying to think of, like the first time I've had like a quote unquote, like, like girlfriend or whatever partner. And I don't think I was literally like 12. <laughs> Wow, Whoa. dude, oh, yeah. you are a lucky person, man. Oh my god, I, I wish I had that luck like you. I, I, am, so I, am, I am bestowing all the leftovers. Dude, no, up. seriously, I need the <laughs> luck. I'm yeah. so heartbroken. I are really? you heartbroken right now? No, yeah, seriously. What's Wait, going what? on? No, <laughs> no. So what happened was like I was seeing this girl. I think it was like you know that whole three month rule thing. 
Okay, I don't uh, know. Three month rule thing? Yeah, the What's whole three month, month rule, rule, like the girl figures out in three months whether she oh, likes you or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we got there, and then I swear, like, you know how when you talk about something really great, you don't want to get, like, shit on oh, because yeah. it's going really good. You don't want to oversell it. Oh, then I, we freaking oversell it. Oh, and then no. literally, I thought our last date wasn't our last date because I literally looked oh, her in the eyes. Oh, so it was, looked, it was her that, that like, yeah. broke it off? Yeah, I looked at her in the eyes like this. I said, hey, like, this isn't the last time, like, I'm seeing you, right? What? And she said, yes. <laughs> Wait, what? And then, like, dude, 48 hours go by, right? 48 hours go by, no call, oh. no text, nothing. I actually end up calling her, and it kind of sucks because you think of the thing, like, right person, wrong timing, but she goes, yeah, I just don't think, like, you know, I, this felt really different, and oh my blah, God. blah, blah, and that, like, so just sorry, shattered man. me. I literally was like, because I never, like, opened up to any person like that before just because, like, it's really hard for me to do that, so, I like, I mean, I was whispering all the right things because I told her, like, hey, thank you for making me, like, feel... Like, to be able to fall in love again. Huh. Like, tell her all the nice, nice things. and. What do you think? She just got scared? I have no idea. I wish I could know, but then she detached herself from me entirely. I'm talking, like, unadded me on every single what? social what? media. Wow. I'm even afraid to, like, give her a phone call. Like, I'm so Oof. scared. I'm really afraid. Hopefully you didn't, like, leave anything, like, at her place or, like, afraid of anything in, like, it, a car I mean, or whatever. I mean, I just gave her everything I possibly could. And that was, like, my point to her. It was, like, I'm going to give you everything I got every oh. single day. And whether it's, like, works out or not. And I, I told her, I fully knew the risk of what was going to happen. But I didn't think this was going to happen based on the math. Like, look at it on paper. It's, like... Whoa. Wow, you like this, you like that. I almost think it's like a soulmate. What? Like, yeah, we were that connected where, like, she just understood me really well, and it wasn't really that hard. It was just like... Well, I'll say this. If it yeah. was meant to be, she wouldn't treat you like this. Exactly. I sure. I mean, I, I wish I could just talk to her again. It's not even that. I was like, hey, like, you left. Like, it's just cold turkey. Like, not even a... What? Like, well, I think yeah. she must have gotten scared or something. I don't, was, know. I don't know. Was there really any like any like clearer explanation than from her? Just other than she just, just like, said it wasn't it working out. It just wasn't. She didn't feel right about it. Oh, and, that's the worst. And like, I feel I accept I, I accept that as like adult conversation. Yeah. You have yeah. those grown conversations. Like, oh, okay, I respect that. Like, but damn, I always sat there thinking like, wow. Oof. Oh, how long ago was this? This is this actually happened like two weeks before my twenty fourth birthday Oof. in January. Damn. Oh wow. Because I was actually thinking about buying a because uh, also the problems that she was in Maryland. Ooh. That's like opposite uh, points of the country, and then she was like, you know, oh yeah, nah, Marin, that's LA. it, that's it. That yeah. it. So I was go. gonna buy a flight. No. Oh, I saved myself um, about twelve hundred dollars for the flight and the hotel. I was like, oh, you're, too, you're too young to be in a long distance relationship. Oh, yeah. I'll say that. Yeah. Don't, don't do I'll it. Say that. Wait, have you? Did you ever meet in person? Yeah. Okay. Four times, five okay, times. Yeah. yeah. Four times. Wow. You're too young to be long distance, though. I'm telling you. Don't, yeah. Don't it do it do may it. seem yeah. like that's the right person for you, but yeah, yeah, yeah. just by the fact of her living in Maryland, it ain't right. It ain't. I'm right. serious. Ain't I'm right. serious. Yeah, I'll take that. Yeah. I yeah, was in a long distance relationship in college, and it was fine, but it was just like, why would you do that as a young person? Yeah. Yeah. It ain't right. I've what day's your birthday? January what? January 26th. Mine's the 30th. Did. Yeah. Aquarius. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Damn. Well, you you will find someone. I hope so. I really, I really do. I've been like. I actually just investing in my own energy mm. and hoping mm. that like pays off. But sometimes it comes in for the wrong reasons. If anyone mm. watching this wants, yes. to, hey. wants to date, what kind Revan. of people are you interested in? What do you? What oh, are you I'm just really. To? G- I mean, uh, <laughs> the joke is because I'm Filipino, so I would love okay. like a Filipino one. But as long as she has like a See good you guys. heart, yeah, take care. Yeah, like a good heart. Like I think that's <laughs> in the right direction, and just understanding that I live, I think, a pretty fruitful and busy life, and my goal is to not like you know make two halves become whole it's more like i have my whole you have your whole and mm-hmm. we're trying to really interconnect and my ex-girlfriend is half there. filipino should i hook you guys up <laughs> i mean that's i Same mean with mine that, wow half actually. half filipinos yeah a quarter we can, actually a quarter is a quarter yeah together that's we can put, hook both of them up get you three quarters yeah, of the way there like three quarters <laughs> of the way there or yeah or whoever is wholesome anyone wholesome that is no, not gonna break my heart seriously. if you want it straight up dm us and then you dm us and we'll connect you oh, i wait, think we actually might, we might be able to get you a date i think, so. <laughs> I I think so wild i think we could, I think I've, we could. I've been looking for a date for god knows how <laughs> wait what's your instagram the uh, people will message you oh uh, just my name revin diego r-e-v-i-n uh diego i'm private though so should i just be like public for this then or no nah, they, oh. they see what you look like they can dm you if they want to <laughs> okay <laughs> okay <laughs> Yeah, uh, those messages. yeah, thank you. Yeah, but if you're too shy to DM him, just DM us and we'll we'll set it up. Yeah, we'll, we'll, well, that's we'll work it out. That'd be crazy if like I go back to like a wedding and then it's like you you guys are the reason why I'm getting married. And we do yeah. weddings too. Yeah, no, we, yeah, we start, yeah, people book us for weddings. We've done like 15, 20 yeah. weddings. Yeah. That's good to know. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm gonna have that in the back of my head. Yeah, now. yeah. So if you get so. married because of our podcast. 
Oh, uh, but you're too young to get married. You ain't looking for that. Oh heck no! I just want to build like a meaningful future with someone. If marriage is cool, that's cool. If not, are you I'm full just, full Filipino? Yeah, I am full Filipino. Have you ever gone back to the Philippines? Uh, no. It's just I know you're not, you were probably born here. Yeah, but, but it's you, just hard because like I have a ton of family out there. So when we go out there, my mom says we're gonna stay there for like three months. Right. Mm. And it's like all my family's out there, and I mean they're slowly migrating over here. It's also interesting because it's like, you know. A lot of people, like I have friends who are Filipino, I have friends who are Cuban, like their families left those countries under circumstances that maybe weren't great. Yeah. Like Mm -hmm. they were trying to escape for a better life. So then when your kid is like, I want to go back, the parents are like, I don't want to go back. Like I left that place. So it's a very complicated relationship. Yeah. My grandparents left because they wanted to build a better life for themselves. Totally. totally. It's like, oh, they had my parents and then I'll go over here. Like, right. Oh, so your parents, have your parents been there though? Yeah. My parents have been there several times. Okay. But they they were born here. Oh yeah. Or my mom was born there and she came over here when she was like in her mid twenties and then my dad was born here. Wow. So it's like a mix of both cultures. Interesting. Where my, my dad has visited several times, but my mom has lived that experience. Right. She's, I'm so grateful that they built that better life for me. Yeah. yeah. But you got to go and connect oh, with your I heritage. Have, you oh, know? no, I miss them so much. Like, yeah. I think a FaceTime on Facebook Messenger does, like, not do it enough. With the family members. It's yeah, like, it just sucks because, like, I, I feel like I should be there in person. Yeah, you got to see yeah. what their legs look like. Oh, yeah. No, they have really big legs. Oh, you cool. do, too. Oh, thank baseball, you. Maybe. Oh, yeah, I work out a lot. Ooh, That's yeah, also why. Yeah, it seems like it. Thank you. If you want a buff Filipino guy, hit up. Hit up. Our boy Revan, <laughs> but, I, but I'm only five eight though, so but that's okay. That's right? tall. That's okay. Is that tall? Because I feel like that's short. That's no, all. That that's, that's, that's normal. That's that's average. Average. That's oh, okay. average, yeah. yeah. I was being told. I was told short my whole life. So. No, I don't oh. think that's short. Oh, Especially because no. you're buff. You're looking good, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I feel a lot better about myself now. Yeah, we're ever since I sat down in this chair, I feel a lot better. We're trying to get <laughs> like you all, up. Yeah, you guys made me feel really good about myself lately. Oh yeah. yeah. That's, what, that's the goal. You deserve goal. it. Oh, dude. And you don't oh, yeah. need that because you already got a partner. You're fine. I mean, oh, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm keeping my fingers crossed. I want crossed. the good energy from you. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, I need that. I'm sending well, everything I can so your way. Please, like, I, you. I do hope for the best. But yeah, because like, yeah. it's one of the things where it's like it's it's so interesting seeing like other people's like relationships. Like, yeah. And like, because like my friend group is uh, relatively spread out in like age differences. Like b- between the oldest and the youngest. So I'm the only oldest and the youngest friend is like ten years of difference. Mm. And the rest of my friends are kind of somewhere in the middle. And almost all of my younger friends have had like are in like long multi-year like living together relationships mm. but like I'm the one that's like the chronically single one right yeah. but now I'm here I'm just like okay see how this develops yeah, yeah. And, and, and we're both definitely in that moment of just like we can both tell that something good is happening but we are both enjoying this way too much yeah. mm. like we cannot like burn this out in like mm. in like two months yeah. like we yeah. gotta just like just, yeah like, relax like let it go like let do this thing that's and cool. yeah, so like yeah, so I'm probably, so like after this, I think I'm gonna drop off my friends. And I'm gonna go pick. I'm gonna pick them up, and then we're just gonna go down, go downtown. Oh, for your birthday, you're gonna yeah. have dinner. Dinner yeah. Yeah. Well, right. You inspire me, man. Like, I appreciate dude, it. Yeah. No, seriously. I, yeah, I, and I believe in you too. I believe in you too. No, seriously, yeah, because yeah, you inspire me. Where like it's like when I hear other people and how they come about and they meet their partners, it's just so inspiring me because it pushes me to be better, exactly. to look deeper within myself to discover what I really want, who I want to be. One, with. It's definitely one thing where it's like. Even in this age of just like you know online dating and all, yeah. like all this stuff like that, mm-hmm. sometimes you just kind of randomly meet someone, yeah. And like it's it's more of a benefit just like be social mm-hmm. like that and just like talk yeah. to people and be willing to like have those conversations. Hey, yeah. How are you? Ten out of ten. Yeah. Recommend. You want to talk to us? All right. <laughs> um, you guys are great guests. And also, I want to say, we have a normal rule in this podcast. We're typically people who are younger or our age are <laughs> boring and annoying. Mm-hmm. But it's been all young people this episode. And they've all been awesome. Yeah, that's true. Truly. It's been a really good one. Yeah. No, seriously. We yeah. try to talk to older folks because I feel like they often have more interesting things to say, but everyone yeah. was so awesome this episode. Yeah. So you guys were great. You're you fantastic. Yeah, no, this is so cool. Yeah, this yeah. is a great, like a, almost like a core memory for me. I'm going to tell my, like, oh, friends about it. Yeah. that's beautiful. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This well, is it'll exist digitally for eternity. So. Yeah. 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 So let I them know that the yeah. senior citizen lane is on that side of the okay. thing. Because the one kicked us out for that reason. Okay. Here's a dollar for you. Happy oh freaking God. birthday, oh, Rev. So That's so awesome. Yeah, that's so cool. And Revan, happy yeah, happy did. birthday to you in January. Uh, yeah, and, thank and you congratulations. so much. This yeah. is awesome. This thank is you. so sick. Wow. We're, we're going to get you a date. Oh, see, I hope yeah. so. Please. Hey. Yeah, we're going to get it. you a date. Let me get a little picture of you, a little close-up picture. I've, I've known this guy for maybe all of like, like oh, yeah. 15 minutes. Been, He's a really nice, yeah. really nice guy. Oh, awesome. Got it. There it is. There it is. There it is. Here. I, I do say this knowing that I that your Instagram is private. I have not seen it, so I don't know what's really deep down there. I'm really hoping for the best. <laughs> you that, should like, send those to me. Maybe oh, I might oh, use those. Yeah. yeah, we'll send them to no, you. No, thank we'll you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, uh, God, you're making my heart feel so full I'm right so now. I'm so happy. I'm, oh, I'm, yeah. I'm, re- I'm really looking. I'm I'm really uh, I'm sending you a lot of uh, all the energy, all the good energy. Does that mean I have to send you a picture of like my partner, too, if that ever comes up? Oh, absolutely. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, like we'll, we'll, we'll reconnect through the through yeah, all the socials and all that, and we'll get that all together. Happy birthday. Yeah
Yeah, yeah so take much. care. Thank yeah. you, of course. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah. Look, Look at them. Good. They're just loving each other now. They're all loving, all each, loving each other. They're all loving each other. Revan's meeting the friends. Revan's meeting the friends. Wow. That was so great. Wow. We're hearing a review of our show while the show's still happening. Wow. Wow. What a day. What a day. You know, we definitely learned today that young people slap. They can. They can slap. And today they did. Yes. And the DMV is a place to meet young, cool, hot people. Young people can also flop, though. They can flop or slap. Right. I kind of feel like at the end of the day, everything can flop or slap. Yeah. And if it doesn't flop or slap, then it is fleek. Yes. And if you just gas it up, then that's it can, then it's hella. That's hella. Yeah, it makes sense. We love the DMV. We love the government. We love all government employees. And uh, yeah, we love everyone who talked to us today. I'm Andrew. That's about it for me. I'm Crash. And, and I um, think that's all I I got. guess we'll just salute the flag and we can just end with the, f- the, flag, the flag up there. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you, flag. Thank, Thank you, you, America. Thank you, California. <laughs> wow. Oh. Whoa. You okay? I've, I'm not good at the phone thing. Yeah. I'm losing my voice. Why? Because <clears throat> of the, the last night, all the talking. Oh, yeah. You were screaming at those waiters. <laughs> we're in Austin. We did our podcast at South by Southwest. That'll come out eventually. And um, there was just a lot of conversation yesterday. I think my voice has gone from it. It's crazy. Uh, from a podcast host, you complain about losing your voice. Well, it was like a bar. Do, you had to speak loudly at a bar. Podcast. Yeah, I guess so. Do you want to hold this? My arm. I'm losing my arm, too. Losing your arm. Yeah. Oh, there we go. That's better. Hi, hey, everyone. everyone. Thanks for watching or listening. DMV is great. Please support all government institutions. They rock. Give your money to them. Always tip your DMV guys. Oh, yeah. I tip them quite a lot. Most of my income goes towards my DMV guy. Yeah. Um, thanks for having us back. Thanks for having us back. I'm in Florida right now. Mm, I'm in when Los this Angeles. comes out. Yeah. Tell a friend about the show. Tell a friend about Florida, huh? Rate and review us on Apple Podcasts. We've been releasing lots of bonus content on Patreon. Tons of live shows. <coughs> um, videos, exclusive videos are called burping like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You know what? Huh. I found out yesterday, Andrew told me, uh, he's never seen two girls, one cup. I know, I just never saw it. That's crazy. Let's keep it like that. No, I think maybe... Maybe that'll be a Patreon video. It's Andrew watching <laughs> Two Girls, One Cup for the first time. Okay. I just avoided it. Not All right. Anymore. Thanks, everyone. Rock on. Bye. Bye. There's a table in the streets with the blue sign. I was asked to sit down by some white guys. They seem really nice. And quick to break the ice. They told me they call it the podcast, but outside. This guy's looking through my hole right now. <laughs> yeah. A little uncomfortable.